The following interview was conducted for Purdue University Oral History Project with three interviewees. Could you say your names? I'm Audit. Okay. Courtney. Ronit. Okay. Um, this interview took place on September 23rd, 2017 at Boilermaker Station in the Purdue Memorial Union on Homecoming Day. The interviewer is Adriana Harmeyer. Uh, so to get us started, could you all tell me what year you graduated and what you studied at Purdue? So I graduated in 2013, and uh, I majored in biomedical engineering. I graduated in 2014, and I was a biology major. I graduated in 2014 as well, and I was a biomedical engineer. And did you three know each other when you were Purdue students? Uh, I knew uh, Ron it. Yeah. <laughs> we were yeah. friends. We knew each other for a while, quite a while, and then we met right after undergrad. Yep. Okay. And, and what is your association now? Uh, as in, like, friends. Uh, oh, oh, oh yeah. we're friends. Oh, we're friends yeah. through medical school. That's <laughs> where we met. And we're both at IU School of Medicine in Indianapolis. Okay, and that's where you are now? Mm-hmm. mm-hmm. Okay. Yep. So, do you uh, often come back for homecoming? Uh, this is my second time, actually. Oh. I've been busy the past couple of years, but, yeah. I try to come whenever mm-hmm. I can, yeah. Yeah, and we, yeah. I've tried to come for every year. <laughs> Hopefully keep that streak going. <laughs> Did, did you often attend football games while you were students? Yes. Yes. <laughs> what was that like? It was awesome. Well, when I went to school here, <laughs> I mean, like, we weren't really the best football program in the country, but it was always fun to go to breakfast club in the morning and then tailgate and then go to the games. So, I don't know. I, a lot of my fond memories are from football games and basketball games here. Yeah, they yeah. were good games. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Basketball, for sure. Uh, especially our like first few years, yeah. Robbie Hummel, Lee Fawn Moore, John Johnson. It was great. Uh, it was a great time. It was awesome seeing like the student energy and how yeah. packed and crowded and excited everyone was. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, my my like most Purdue memory, I guess, is the Ohio State versus Purdue game. Our uh, freshman years, so that's like 2010, um, and we beat Ohio State, and they were ranked like in the top ten of that year. So yeah. that was pretty exciting. Yeah. Do you remember what the rest of that day was like after the game, after they won? Uh, yes. With the storming the field? Uh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah, celebrations. I mean, it was, I think it's the loudest I've ever been in any place. Like, it was insane. Just a sea of black and gold uh, and the Purdue team outperforming, like, an uh, opponent that was clearly very good. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So aside from the sporting events, are there any places on campus that you liked to spend time as a student? Yeah. Uh, wait, I'm I, sorry, go yeah. for it. Well, I mean, I lived in, in dorm the first three years. So I lived at Cary Quad the first year, and I loved it. Um, but then I moved to Wiley for the second and third year. And I really liked the Corec when it was there, and we used to play basketball all the time. Um, and then just hang out, like, in our dorms. It was mm-hmm. fun, yeah. I think there are too many places that I liked on campus. <laughs> Definitely the Co-Rec was beautiful when that was built. Um, but I always really liked to like study um, by Beering Fountain on like those nice tables. Mm-hmm. Uh, that was perfect. <laughs> mm-hmm. um, so we were in biomedical engineering and our building is kind of on the south side of campus, Martin Jiski. I was there a lot. Uh, but one of my other favorite uh, parts of campus was just the undergrad library next to um, next to Stuart. Mm-hmm. Um, good place to study and just a good place to hang out. Yeah. Were you all involved in any clubs or organizations? Mm-hmm. Uh, <laughs> you want, you want to start? Uh, Ron and I were both involved with Boiler Gold Rush, um, mm-hmm. so that was really fun. Purdue Dance Marathon. Both of us. Uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, I, I a was, lot. Yeah. I mean, BGR was like my favorite experience at Purdue. Uh-huh. Uh, both of us were very involved, especially 2013. Um, and then uh, I was involved in some advocacy groups like Global, Timmy Global Help, and of course Dance Marathon was probably one of our our most fondest memories ever. <laughs> yeah. What do you think has changed about Purdue since you graduated? Anything? There are a lot more dorms here than when I was yes. here. <laughs> So many, and they're really nice, too. Yeah, they're, like, so much better. Well, they were nice when we were here, too. Yeah. 
they're just like newer and we were like actually eavesdropping on one of the campus tours today and uh, they said that they have like 18 dorms now mm -hmm. and I think it was like eight or nine when, when wow. I was here so yeah. and there's always it's new like, buildings and yeah. State Street looks totally different um, yeah. Grand Street is two ways now yeah, yeah. that's <laughs> one way recent change like we're just in time to see it and it looks like they're getting like new bars and restaurants on Chauncey and they're like kind of renovating the old ones too so it looks that's nicer exciting. I think yeah. I was sad that they like tore down ENAD that was sad oh, yeah. to me that was where so I was involved with the uh, orientation committee and that's where our office was and that's where BGR's office was yeah. so it's kind of sad that that's gone but it was a terrible building to be honest it was old and they tore it down like I think the year after we moved out so and that um, outside of Wiley the I think it was Vauderfield like is all filled now with yeah Oh, with All the, the buildings. new buildings. <laughs> Third Street yeah. Towers or something, and like yeah, the Croc Leadership Center. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. It changes quickly. Yeah. <laughs> or like when we started, obviously we had the old Corec. So. Yeah. The new Corec is so good. Yeah. So much better. Probably if we came from 2010 when we started till now, it would look totally different. Mm -hmm. <laughs> what do you think? There have been a lot of changes at Purdue, but what is still the same? The Bell Tower? I love the and the union the, yeah the union it's the same yeah. it still feels the same even if things like change and it looks a little different when you come back it's just like I'm a boilermaker and it's all still here and that like school pride <laughs> brick and mortar everywhere mm -hmm. yeah do you have any favorite memories anything that stands out when you think back on your college years too many <laughs> yeah too many I loved um, every fountain run and I feel like I did way too many. Like, yeah, I mean, and I, I feel like we did more than the average producer yes. did because we, we had to encourage, so both of us were enrolled in BGR too, yeah. so it was like encouraging our new students and then encouraging like your yeah. team leaders and doing it yourself. Yeah, yeah. and then our, since, since we were in Boiler Gold Rush, um, I feel like my favorite memories were when you first came and you go into like... Um, Elliot and everybody is jumping up and down and really excited and you've never seen anything like it and then we got to mm -hmm. see that like all all the years and that's like one of my favorite things of I can't believe that Purdue has that much like energy and passion and mm -hmm. yeah. welcoming yeah. new students it's a good time <laughs> For me, it's I like I said, sporting events were always great memories for me. I think the one that sticks out is the uh, Purdue versus Ohio State basketball game my sophomore year, their freshman year, and it was just I think it was the loudest uh, Mackey's ever been at like one point in the game, and it was like I could like I could remember like screaming right next to my like I was right next to my friend I was like screaming like something important like it just like erupted I was like oh my god it's like I'm gonna go deaf yes <laughs> that's so true <laughs> yeah that was probably my best memory did you all have jobs while you were on campus I was a teaching assistant but I didn't work like a ton <laughs> what department uh biology uh, so we had a salary for BGR, which was nice. Uh, but then my senior year, I was a. Uh, I also first two years, I made some money by working writing for the Exponent, mm -hmm. uh, and then my senior year, I taught physics uh, as a supplemental instructor. I don't know if they still have that program, SI supplemental instruction. But basically, we had classes of about ten to fifteen students, taught them physics. Mm -hmm. I'm an engineer, so. It's like, Nice. That's probably like what my job was. It probably <laughs> wasn't like even teaching assistant. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I did not have a job, but I volunteered here and there. Mm -hmm. yeah, it was like a tutor for some engineering courses, but mm -hmm. yeah, never got paid. So that's okay. <laughs> <laughs> so anything about Purdue that you think should get more attention than it does? I really think Mackey Arena should get more recognition nationally as like one of the best uh, basketball arenas. That's true. Yeah. yeah. What do you think makes it special? It's just like it's just like concrete. Like a like a huge dome of concrete and it's just so unique. Like I've been to a lot of basketball arenas and I've never seen anything like it. Mm -hmm. And it just gets so loud in there and students are always great. So I don't know. It's just a great place. Mm -hmm. I, I mean, I think, like, the academic program here is fantastic. If you if you come here, you know you can graduate with um, and find a job, a good job, and 
um, like that Purdue degree kind of follows you around. So I think that's mm -hmm. a big deal. And I mean, most students, like all students, are here for mm -hmm. at some point to leave and get a real job. Mm -hmm. so. Sadly, you have to leave. Yeah, I know. I wish I could never leave. <laughs> Every time you come back for homecoming, you're like, "Can I come back?" Yeah. <laughs> Do you have any advice for incoming Purdue students? Probably to get involved in as much as you can. I feel like uh, there were so many things that I was involved in at Purdue that I didn't know that I would be involved in before I came there. Um, so just saying yes to opportunity and um, I feel like it opens a lot of doors and helps you grow um, as a student and then as a person once you leave here. Um, I think there's a lot of unique experiences here that um, if you don't put yourself out there you won't get all of them, so. Mm -hmm. uh, I was the only one from my high school who came to Purdue because I'm in high school in Missouri. Uh, so it's kind of, I, I would just say like, regardless of if you are like the only person you know that's here or if you know a ton of people here, go out of your way to meet people, especially at the beginning and throughout your time here. Get involved in stuff outside class because you'll learn a lot in class and you should do well in that, but yeah. you, there's enough capacity to do things outside of class. Um, yeah. And I think that'll go a long way uh, for in terms of your friendships, but also your future career, whatever you end up doing. I agree. Get involved as much as you can. Mm -hmm. yeah. okay. Well, do any of you have any last thoughts or memories that you'd like to share? Make the most of your time here because yeah. it definitely comes to an end. But too soon. <laughs> yeah, it's too it comes fast. To an end too soon. But you can always come back, homecoming, and reunions with your friends. So, yeah. and always like try to stay in touch with your friends. I think that's a big deal in the long run. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, thank yeah. you for talking to me today. Thank you. Thank